Now then, welcome back to Agravian Skies 2. And I am bashing things with a hammer. I actually find that this cobblestone gen and a stone hammer work very well together. With the cobblestone gen, I was finding that a lot of the cobble was going into the lava. That's just like a, a natural course of action that happens in Minecraft. But the hammer from Ex Nihilio tends to put the drop in your inventory first time all the time. Like, like it's got slightly different mechanic to how vanilla cobblestone gen works. So I've just been bashing that for a, a little while. I, I built this hammer a couple of episodes ago, didn't I? Uh, not long ago. And, well, I've just used it up a bit. But I've got a stack and a half of gravel, which is awesome. So I'm going to just go and sieve a little bit of it and see what we get. Flint? Yeah, okay, fine. But we get all sorts of things, like broken nickel, flint. Some cool stuff comes out of this sieving. This is basically how I'm going to get all of my main resources out of the, uh, the uh, whole series, really. But I've got to automate the sieves. Automating the sieves is not an easy process. And I'm... Oh, that's it. Perfect lapis. Right, so, uh, let's see. <laughs> yeah, automating the sieves is not an easy process. I'm going to have a lot of sieving to do uh, before I can automate the sieves and so on. Uh, what I was looking for, though, is lapis. Because lapis I need to make this world interaction upgrade from extra utilities. Uh, world interaction upgrade, some lapis and some iron. So I'm going to need a fair bit of iron and a fair bit of lapis. And I get both broken iron, which this broken iron should be able to make an iron ore, iron gravel, yes. And I think I can break the iron gravel even further, but I think I can just smelt it directly. Uh, let me just break this one down. And smack it. Yeah, there we go. And then we get five of these crushed iron ore, and these can make an iron ore sand. And can I break it down further? I don't know if I can. Uh, see, yeah, it's been a while. There's five of those, which then can be go into uh, iron ore dust. And I believe the iron ore dust, I can just smelt up the iron ore dust in there. And I've got these little extras already left over, which means that I'm uh, kind of ore doubling in a way. Uh, so I've got a little bit there from sieving, uh, sieving sand and sieving dust. You also get redstone and glowstone and things from sieving dust. And we get quartz crystals for the applied energy sticks from sieving sand. But I'm interested in getting the lapis first. So I thought I'd just get a hammer straight to the cobble gen and start doing that. Uh, let me see. Where did I put my... Oh, no. Where did I put it? Where did I put my charcoal? I haven't kept it in here. Did I put it in here? Oh, I've put all the charcoal in there. Yeah, the tree chopper. The tree chopper that didn't work with a, a stone axe works with the Tinker's Construct hatchet. Yes. And it, it even said it in here. Let me uh, open this up for the first time today. Uh, this even said it in here as well, didn't it? Place saplings, a hatchet, and fuel in. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, Jaded Cat did prepare me for that, but I didn't read it, did I? Yeah, that's the trouble with Quest. I've, I've noticed that in a lot of uh, Quest games that I've played before. You hardly actually read the quest until something goes wrong. You just sort of like, uh, yeah, well, I need this and I, I, I need some of that. So I'll just get some of that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, awesome. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but you don't read what it says here. So combining four identical ore fragments, we'll get the block of that kind. Start sieving gravel. Yeah. Which is what I'm doing. But I didn't read that because I already kind of knew what I was doing. Uh, which means that if I can get some more of that iron ore, I can hand that quest in. I, f I didn't even see that quest. I didn't even think about that quest. So let's see how much we can get quickly off this lot. Uh, I'm not going to do all of this on camera, of course, because this would be boring as hell to watch, I'm sure. Uh, I'm going to probably put a video on and just sort of do it while watching a video in the background, to be honest, and just see how much I can get. I can do the uh, smashing of cobblestone by not even thinking about it, just sitting there afk in basically, with my finger on the button, Watch some cool videos from my friends, my fellow YouTubers. And then uh, come and sieve it and do the same again. It's kind of easy. Yeah, just kind of easy. Uh, we've got some decent stuff out of that one again as well. Throw that away. Throw all that in there. There we go. What have we got? Lead and iron. We've only got one iron ore out of it though. 
Oh well. Uh, I will do that some more and get some more bits and pieces. Uh, and maybe make some more gravel as well. And be back with you in a bit once I've done some sieving. And there we go. The last little piece. Okay, so let's see what we got. Lots of copper, tin, and other goodies. I even got some gold there. That's cool. So we've got lots of the broken stuff. The broken uh, ores. That's cool. And some coal. Plenty of flint. Coal. So my flint tools for the chopper will go down nicely. A little bit of appetite. Very cool. Bit of platinum as well. Awesome. And I got the four lapis, which was the important part of what was after. And a load of iron, which is cool as well. So let's hand in this quest first. There's a broken iron. Uh, iron fragment. Okay. Crafting. I've already done that. Iron gravel. Hammer the ore. Yeah, I already did that. Or dust. Yeah, I did that as well. So, well, I guess I just claim the reward. Awesome. Okay. Okay. And I can just pop this straight into my furnace. Uh, wait until I get to eight. I should really get to the point where I can do a tinker smeltery and double the stuff up as well. Uh, this stuff hasn't really grown. Uh, that's, that's melon seeds mature. I got a piece of melon from it. You only get a single piece of melon? Oh my days. Uh, I know there's more to this agri-craft with these crops. I can make more plants and more seeds and all that grow. But at the moment, I'm okay with food. I'm okay with food. I've got a few bits and pieces growing. That's not my first concern. My first concern is making sure I've got enough food. And the quest book has given me a few bits. Uh, and this. I've got apples and things like that. I want to upgrade the range on this today as well, hopefully. Uh, which I think is another upgrade in here. Let's see. We're working on upgrades. Uh, upgrades. So we've got... Where is it? Upgrade. Okay, we're on that second page. There we go. Stone upgrade. So I'm going to need eight stone around a piece of redstone to upgrade it once. Uh-huh. And I've got one piece of redstone, so that's okay. Uh, how much iron do I need for this upgrade over here, this world interaction upgrade? I need seven iron altogether. So let's work on that seven iron and get that working. We're going to have all this. I'm going to smack it all to pieces with a hammer to make the most of every last little drop of iron that I get and then I'm going to put all this together making another six and so on 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 giving me the best return of my investment of time that is possible that's 24 giving me uh, how many more did I need actually I don't think I'm going to use it for anything else, but how many more do I need? Uh, another three. Another three. Uh, one, a two, a three. There we go. And I've got to be careful about shift clicking. I read in the forums that there's a, a, a bit of a problem with uh, shift clicking in these trophies. If the they if you fill your hot bar and then shift click out of a crafting grid or something, it tries to put it here. And because this is a, a non-square, it can sort of like lose it delete it and then a few minutes later you'll find a stack of whatever it is on the floor or something okay so let's put those in there and let's put a piece of coal in and we should get that iron up and running ready now that's cool okay pop that away pop that away pop that away that's plenty of supplies for now just to get started uh, i'm also going to need to get myself um an actual node for extra utilities so let's uh, get a few more pieces of this another good thing about the hammer is it doesn't break the block behind there which is pretty good i like i like that it doesn't break the block behind because that was annoying accidentally breaking the block behind i thought about making a little flint pick or something as well uh, but let's hammer this stuff out and make some sand i'm pretty sure it was sand that gave me Red, no, it was dust that gave me redstone. So let's get some dust on the go so I can get some redstone. Because I'm going to need one more piece of redstone. This is going to break. Yep, it is. And where did I put the other one? There, the wooden one. That'll do for now. I can make plenty of these now. Nice and simple. It doesn't take too long to smash either. So I don't I don't mind messing with it like this. Well, that gives us eight dust. Let's see what we get from eight dust quickly while the smelters smelt. While the furnace is smelting, should I say. Uh, well, there's the redstone already. Awesome. There's all the redstone I needed already. Cool. 
and powdered gold ore and sky stone dust. Sky stone dust. Ooh, there, there's a thing. I'm going to have to add another chest to this, aren't I? Uh, yeah, I'm going to add another chest so I can make a bit more space over here for all these ores that I'm going to be getting. Let's pop this behind it. That should work. Yep. There we go. And throw that in there. Awesome. And, well, I'm just going to quickly do this now. While I'm what uh, while you're watching there, go figure. Look, this is what I'm doing. I'm making some dust. Actually, actually, before I make any more, let's get to the point of having a couple left over. Because uh, I just thought I'm going to potentially need to use some dust to make some clay uh, in the water barrels. So, we'll leave that. Because I'm going to need some clay for the tinkers. So, I may as well leave a bit of dust, don't I? I may as well, don't I? There we go. Eight iron ingots. Woo, woo, woo. Acquired hardware. Woo, 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 woo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what's our achievements at now? Uh, I didn't do this upgrade. And, oh, that's, that's where that comes from. And then acquire hardware. That's taken. Yeah, make a rail. Find diamonds. Uh, okay, so I should do that as well, really. That'll give me another inventory slot. Uh, where, where did I put my cobble? I'll put cobble here. One, two, three. Thank you. Let's do this quickly as well. I, I like having the inventory slots. The sooner I get rid of all of these um, blocked inventory slots, the better. Boom, 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 boom. Get an upgrade. Get another one of those. Awesome. It, it's kind of pointless, but at the same time, you need as much inventory space as you can, especially when you're doing all this sifting and stuff, don't you? Uh, okay, so next up, we're going to need to make ourselves an iron pick. Okay. And then that goes there with four ingots. And we get four lapis around it to make the world interaction upgrade. Awesome. So now we've got the world interaction upgrade. Let's look at the other thing. The node. The node itself. That's it. Uh, this will get my cobble gen going quickly. So I need a block of redstone. So that's 9, 10, 11. And I also need to make a tube, which is not that one. Uh, I need to make a pipe. That one, which is another piece. So I need 8 pieces of red... 9, 10, 11, 12 pieces of redstone altogether. Okay, so I am going to have to do some more dust. So I'll do a bit more of that, and I'll be back in a mo. Oh, look at that. Redstone already. There's a good chance of getting redstone off this dust, at least. Oh, righty. We're getting somewhere really, really quickly. Well, it feels quick to me, but I guess spreading it out over a few episodes for you guys is feeling a bit slow. But still, I'm sorry about that. You know the drill, though. This is YouTube. This is how YouTubers do the YouTubes. Uh, <laughs> I've pretty much got everything I need now, I think. Let me get this transfer pipe which is stone slabs and some glass. So that's the, like, the last little bit that I need. Uh, let's get seven of this. I will I will quickly break this down. I only need four, uh, two glass. I need two glass. So I only actually need to do this a couple of times, but another couple of times won't hurt. It's quick enough. Uh, this is kind of what I've been doing. I've, I've probably got through a stack. Oh, I'm, I don't want to do that. I've probably got through a stack of cobble in the form of gravel turning it into sand turning it into dust in order to get these 14 redstone and there's not a great deal of redstone i know but that's 14 redstone that i didn't have before which makes it awesome uh another thing this is also going to be good for the uh, upgrading that in a bit as well uh let's get a block that's one thing i needed for sure I needed a block, and I needed two. And then I've got a couple left for upgrades as well. For that thing over there. Awesome. Oh, the other thing we can make while we're here is some slabs. We need six slabs for this as well, don't we? Okay. Did you cook? Yes. Okay. I'll, I'll cook the other two anyway. Because I'll probably need some more transfer pipes when I eventually. So let's make some of that transfer pipey stuff. Uh, yeah, eight transfer pipes is a very good deal indeed. A very good deal indeed. And then for the node, we need a chest, two bits of stone. Okay, chest. I can quickly whisp up another chest. Seems like I've been making a lot of chests so far. Uh, it's about to be that we're about to make a barrel, I think. I think we're going to make a barrel. Let's see. There we go. One transfer node with world interaction upgrade. 
That's good enough for me. That will now get myself some cobble gen going on the cobblestone generator. However, I don't necessarily want to do it right there. Uh, we've got four. I need a few more. I want to make a cobblestone gen somewhere else. So I'm going to change it up a little bit. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. And then another six. Let's put 16 in. Let's cook 16 up. I'm getting the coal for free anyway, really. So let's cook 16 up. I want to set up another cobble gen around and about somewhere. Uh, with no wood around it. And I don't want to be too close to the edge, I guess. Uh, but I do want to set up another cobble gen. And I think I'm going to set it up here. I want the piping to come into the base. Because eventually I'm going to start storing stuff inside. I mean, at the minute I'm not doing much inside at all, am I? Uh, but I think... Uh, oh, I still can't break this stuff. Can I break here? Yes, I can. But I can't then break here. No, I can't break that one. Okay, so I'm going to need to upgrade the pick. This upgraded okay as well, but... Meh. Uh, right, well... Scrapping this idea, then. I wanted to put it around here somewhere, just to, like, secure it. But I guess I'm just going to have to put a temporary together for now. I'm going to take this other clay bucket that I got. The other fired clay bucket. And make another thing of lava. There's a whole bucket of lava in there. Uh, I think it takes like four, uh, yeah, it takes four cobble, one, two, three, four, to make a single lava, because it makes uh, 250 per cobble, which is very useful, and it not, uh, that's good there, okay, let's just make this little upgrade as well while we're at it, stone upgrade for this, I can actually make another one in a bit, that's awesome. Okay, let's give this an upgrade so it uses the next slot along as well. There we go, that should start taking this one down. So now it's going clockwise around, so I'm going to have to start putting dirt back in these places to get the trees to grow. So it'll automate around itself, that'll be good. Uh, I'm not actually doing much with the dirt at the minute, am I? Because I've, I've already gone past that stage, got the stone, got the cobblestone gen, so I don't really need it for anything. Other than fresh seeds, there's a lot of cool seeds you can get. Uh, uh, pumpkin. I get a full pumpkin with that. Awesome. Okay. And a full melon. Having it next to this flowing water's not exactly doing my face in. Uh, that's not mature yet. That is mature. I, another thing. I know that these mobs are attacking me because of special AI. But I can't understand why they're not breeding. Because I don't think that's part of the actual mod itself. So I'm wondering if I just have to give them several attempts at breeding. So I'm going to do that one more time here, just to see. If you know what causes the breeding to stop, let me know in the comments. Maybe it's because they're aggro to me. If I get out the way of them, so they're not aggro to me anymore, will they breed? Did you breed? Yes, you did. Okay, so while they were too busy being aggro with me last time, that's why they didn't breed a baby. I didn't think there was anything that was stopping us getting... A breed on. Um, so I'm now thinking of a mob farm for these guys where they can't see me to attack me, but I can feed them. I'm sure there's going to be something I can do for it later. Uh, but any road. I just realised I used that bucket, and I should probably have not used that bucket up. Uh, okay, okay, we can, we can fix this. I'm going to end up changing all these things around anyway. Uh, one, two, let's go here with another chest, and one, two, and make some half slab, uh, some slabs. I can't remember if this is right exactly, but let's see if it works. Oh yes, it works. Better barrels. And that is one of the quests in here. Here we go. Yeah, simple storage tasks. Claim that reward. Simple storage task. Unlocks one quest elsewhere. Okay. Uh, oh, it looks like assembly line has opened up. Thermal transport. Okay. Uh, applied engineering. Uh, sky high. Make a sky stone block. Which I think I can probably do out of that stuff. Uh, maybe that was what opened up elsewhere. Let's have a look in learning to sky block. Nothing new's opened up there. Okay. Porcelain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, Skyblock, Sky Farm. Yeah, I've still got to get into all this stuff. I will do, don't worry. 
Uh, but I just wanted to make sure that I had that barrel because that was an important stage, I think. Uh, and next up, I want to make sure that I get this in the right place to get this uh, another cobble gen going. A cobble gen that I can just leave alone. Um, here looks like a maybe a good place. Put that there. Thank you. Oh, that sapling is destined to not stay there, isn't it? I think it got actually washed down a gap this time. Dang it. It hasn't grown for ages, that one. Okay, so we've got that down there. Let's have this here out the way. And this here out the way. That's where I can put the next lava. Uh, yeah. I think that should work. Um... I'm going to cover that lava up. Okay, and lava me. Yes, okay. Now I can put the world interaction upgrade on... Well, I normally put them on the top just for appearances sake. And I'll probably do that again here, actually. But that'll do for now. So now this, with a world interaction upgrade, should start generating me cobblestone. Awesome. And I'm going to put a barrel here. Because I'm going to want the cobblestone going into other things later on. Uh, not too far later on, let's hope. Right, put that in there. And that should start pushing cobblestone in there. Awesome. So now I've got stacks of cobble whenever I need it. And that's not a bad place for it either for now. Yep. I'm going to have to expand this. I'm going to have to start building out from the island. Make it safe in loads of places and automate things and have crop fields and all sorts going on. Um, but I will get round to it. Don't worry. I will get round to it. It will happen. It's just it's just grinding out these first few bits and pieces to make sure that I've got food to eat. Nom noms. Lots of nom noms. Uh, and then lots of basic essentials to make my life easier so that I'm not grinding, 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 grinding every day. I can actually be building and using technology and stuff to make things happen. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. Okay, so what else? We can upgrade this as well. Let's take this out of the way and chop this down. We've got enough to be able to do another upgrade there. He's already tried. He's got a range of five. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four. Take this out. Four. And... And a barrel there, why not? And another one, two there. Let's do this, this way around. There we go. And we can put another one there. He does that. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, go for it. And the flint hatchet, the best thing about this is I could put a repair on it uh, well actually a repair probably wouldn't work but I can put the uh, flint back on it anytime I want really can I? which is nice and good uh, it's not getting a lot of saplings off it though they're not growing very quickly and I've, I'm down to the last bit of a stack of bone meal so I'm not really keen on throwing more bone meal at the situation uh, just put enough in there just to make sure the water doesn't get in there although I do need another water bucket Come on, do the thing. You're supposed to do the thing with the things. Uh, the other thing was the mushroom spores that I got. Uh, mushroom spores, they're brown mushrooms. I was thinking about that, and I'm thinking that if I use that and make some mycelium on dirt, if that's how it's even going to work, that's ex nihilio. No, that's agricraft, actually. So ex nihilio mushroom spores are in here. They're cactus seeds. Exotic seeds. Uh, I'm going to take the cactus seeds, actually, and start using that. Uh, we can hammer out some bits and pieces out of that. Um, yeah, pop those away there. Yeah, I was thinking of planting the seeds just locally close by for now. Just like round here somewhere. And maybe getting a bit of sand. So let's get a piece of sand to put some cactus seeds on. Just so that I can have cactus growing. Because you never know when you're going to need some cactus, do you? Um, I don't really want it close by to anywhere silly, though. Let's have it up here, out the way. That's not a bad place, I don't think. I do need to get rid of this block as well, though. 
And that means that just to make it look nice, I put that one there instead. Okay, and the cactus seed should just pop down, shouldn't it? No. Okay. These are agricraft as well. They didn't go on the crops earlier. Can I... Uh, do I have another crop? Yeah, let's have a look. And... If I break... What's this? Potatoes? Let's take the potatoes. If I put a crop down and place it, it doesn't work. Right? So, I'm going to put the potato seeds back on again now. Eh, there we go. Waste of time that was. I already knew the answer to that. But put it down there and maybe that works. Yes! Okay, you see? I'm learning something new. The Agrigraft, I've only really seen it in the regrowth pack. Uh, and a load of my uh, fellow YouTubers, my friends from uh, around and about, are doing the regrowth at the minute. And to me, honestly, it looks like the most boring mod pack I've ever seen in my days. However, the guys that I watch, the guys that I've been playing Utopia with for ages, it... They they are the only redeeming feature of the mod pack that they're doing the mod pack. That's the only really good redeeming feature that there is in the regrowth pack. Uh, but this mod did catch my eye for the regrowth. This is basically what regrowth's all about. This new agricraft uh, mod. So I've picked up a few things that I can do with it. I'm obviously just not doing anything with it properly at the minute. But there's a few things that I'm going to do with it, and I need to start building out an area around me um, to satisfy my needs to spread, spread around. I'm also going to need a lot of dirt for sticking all this on, so oh, I don't know whether I should build uh, some kind of mob farm to get lots of bones for skellies. Or just leave this to run naturally and then take the oak saplings out. The thing about this is it's not collecting the basil and it's not collecting anything like um, the worms. So these are my last 24 worms that I've got and that's one piece of basil that I've got. So it's not really harvesting in the same way. So I might have to do all that myself still. Uh, I've got four there. Let me just actually put one more over here because, well, why not? Even though I keep breaking it when I break that. And that working fast. Look at that. That's cool. So now I no longer need to do it all that stage. I can just lay it all out on the floor and break it. I'm looking for a block breaker ideal as well, really. Uh, let's have a look at breakers. We've got block breaker there, which requires a ton of stuff that I haven't got yet. And these gears. Oh, man. You actually need a gear cast to make gears in this one. That's pretty crazy. I think the Tinker Smeltery is a must very soon. Uh, block gate... Terrain Smasher, again, Invar, Pickaxe, Pistons, Servos, all this kind of stuff is pretty expensive. But I'm going to need a Tinker's Smeltery regardless, really, aren't I? So, I think my next main goal, before I start working on foodstuffs, although that's pretty, pretty high on my priorities, really. Uh, I'll just keep eating all this kind of stuff for now. Uh... The top priority now is going to be to get a Tinker's Smeltery and set that up somewhere. And I'm probably going to need some more space for that. So between this episode and next episode, hopefully I'll have enough time to get all the materials together for a Tinker's Smeltery. So we're looking at Smeltery. Smeltery bricks. Smeltery bricks. Let's just check there's nothing special about them anymore. Seared bricks. Yes, seared bricks. Grout, which is... Uh, clay, sand, and gravel. So I can take dust and put it into the water buckets to make clay. And the gravel and sand is really easy to make. So I can make a load of grout. And then I can make a load of seared bricks. And then I can make a load of bricks. And everything else is normal cost by the looks of it. So with a little bit of grind, I should have no problem setting up a Tinker's Smeltery. Uh, the little bit of genius that I want to add into it, you will see next episode, folks. Uh, I think I've run out of time. I hope I've run out of time because I'm about to end the episode. Thank you very much for watching once again. Oh, look at them wings. Uh, somebody told me in the comments that in the options, press escape and there, the Tails mod is in there. But no, it's not the Tails mod. I don't know how to get rid of those. Please tell me how to get rid of those ears. The fish on my ears. Why well, have I got fish on my ears? Jaded cat, you're cruel. 
Why have I got fish on my ears? I don't like it. I want to be me. Just me. Well, anyway, thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next episode of Agrarian Skies 2. I hope you enjoyed. Hit the like button if you did. I'll see you again soon.